Peter Andre, 49, has given a candid update about his mom, Thea's, declining health. Peter recently flew to Australia to visit his 87-year-old mum and the rest of their family along with his wife Emily McDonough, 33, and four children, Junior, 17, Princess, 15, Amelia, 9, and Theo, 6. On Instagram, the mysterious girl singer shared a series of photographs from their two-week trip and said spending time with his mum had meant the world to him. One emotional clip saw the moment Theo was reunited with Junior after some time apart. As Junior was filmed walking into her bedroom, Thea lovingly exclaimed, Hello Junior! Before pulling him in for a hug and continuing to speak Greek to each other. Thousands took to the comments to share words of kindness, which prompted Peter to open up about his mother's diagnosis. He wrote, our mom is really struggling with Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and we worry every single day as it takes hold. I will cherish every moment I have. In another comment, he added that seeing Thea's illness take hold has been so cruel and that he loves her too much. In a separate post, the former IMA celebrity. Get me out of here. Star posted a series of pictures from their trip. Among those was a snap of Thea lovingly placing her hand on Peter's chin as they both smiled at each other. Another saw Thea embracing her four grandchildren and also sharing a hug with Peter's wife Emily. In the comments he said, I've been up and down with emotions. It may not show in these pics but she's struggling. He also said, I have laughed and cried loads these last couple of weeks. So happy I'm with them. According to the NHS, Parkinson's is a condition in which parts of the brain become progressively damaged over many years. Symptoms include involuntary tremors, slow movement and stiff muscles. The Alzheimer's Society also states on their website that people with Parkinson's disease have a higher than average risk of developing dementia. In the UK, Parkinson's disease dementia accounts for around 2% of all cases of dementia, but around two-thirds of people with Parkinson's are unaffected. The charity adds that when dementia does occur, it is typically not until late in the course of the illness.